Montgomery out to center ice, Nejlip. On side right wing, feeds the slot, poked away by Seattle, picked up by Nejlip, runs into traffic, t knock him off the puck, and here's Hoff the other way with Enzer. Bear has it, Peterson, top of the circle, back to Bear on top, back to Peterson at the near circle. 35 on the power play, cross ice, the shot, score! One more time! Oh, Shea, can you see? Shea Theodore on the power play, 1-0 Seattle. There, Nezhlev, near circle in front, blue line. Watherspoon has it. Tees up a shot, deflected near circle. Nezhlev shot, that one deflected out of play. Right wing to Williams, down low Nezhlev, back to Williams at the circle. Tied up, got it to Nezhlev at the faceoff dot. He walks in, takes a shot on net, deflected to the far boards. Good win, good win, uh, good hockey game, pretty much. Uh, guys, are, guys are ready to start and uh, played a pretty strong, smart game. And the starts have been really good for you guys last, since the break. Uh, has there been anything that, that's just a focus or just how it's happening? Uh, I mean, I, I, you know, we try to make sure the guys are ready, and I think they're holding each other, each other accountable to be ready for the start and uh, to be ready to go. It's a pretty lopsided, lopsided game as far as special teams go. What contributed to that for you guys? As far as the opportunities or us on the power score, plays yeah. and PKs? Well, it's huge. They're a good defensive hockey team, and... Uh, you know, with the power plays, if we can, we can uh, keep keep creating chances. Uh, it, it'll be good for us. Uh, we're, we, as of late, we've been pretty solid defensively, and so if we can capitalize on our power plays, it can really help us down the stretcher. With the roster moves, you've seen, you know, you've got a few new players on the top line unit for power play. I mean, how do you see that unit kind of coming together? Well, I, I, we've got two pretty good units, and we've got some competition. Uh, we've got some competition with the two units. One with which power play is playing better, who's going to get the start because they've both got some good players. And also, guys that are playing better in general, five on five or whatever, we, there's some guys that can mix in and out. And if you're going, and you're going hard and you're competing, you, you'll get a chance on the power play. And uh, if, if you're not, so, I mean, we, have, we have a nice mix of uh, guys that can, can play a power play role. And you had to like what you saw from them tonight, at least. Yeah, yeah, the last couple of days. Uh, uh, you know, obviously, Theo helps getting him back there. but. Uh, Everybody's doing their assignment and uh, moving the puck. And Jersey's doing a great job in front of that. Really, really, really nice job. He goes there and now he's he's deflecting pucks. And anytime he's in front of that net uh, with with our D, they've got good enough shots. If they get him on net, it's gonna be tough for the goalies. Uh, Theodore and True have played well since so coming back. Is that something that they get momentum from that being in a tournament like that can carry into the season? I think so. I think uh, Theodore went in there and, and played a huge role and played against the top lines. Uh, he's already confident in this level, but to be able to come back and also play play against the best and for, for a tournament win the goal, that helps him. True, uh, he was playing really good hockey before he went. He was starting to get a lot better. I know that uh, for him, he wasn't quite sure how much ice time he was going to get on that team before he left. And and uh, when he went out there and he played and played a big role, I think that helps him as well. You know, that uh, hey, I can I can play with these top guys. And it looks like he's playing some pretty confident hockey here. Yeah, do you see those guys come back with added confidence? After a tournament like that? Yes, for sure. For sure. They're both they're both playing good, confident hockey. You unexpectedly lost your captain there. How does some of the other veterans, especially Theo, coming back, kind of pick up the slack both on and off the ice? Well, the one thing with, with, with Theodore, he's a leader for us anyway. Uh, Theodore hasn't been around much for us. So, so so we haven't had that leadership in the room too much. We had it a little bit before, before, you know, but we had Hicks in. So we lose Hicks, Theodore kind of steps right in, and, uh, you know, he can take up some of that. And, uh, you know, we have a pretty good group of guys that are holding each other accountable, and uh, and, and and everybody needs to pitch in lead, leading anyway, and and uh, looks like they're doing a good job so far. Ryan drop behind the play, Kolasar and Hamilton can drop the gloves. These two were chatting with each other after the game last night, and here they are chatting with their fists in the game tonight. Hamilton from Winnipeg, Kolasar also from Winnipeg. And they're going toe-to-toe -to -toe at the Americans' blue line down to all right. Hamilton's got a few inches on Kolasar's balls a few years, but Kolasar pulled the jersey back on Hamilton, got him in a vulnerable position, threw a right, and with that jersey pulled up, the linesman jumped in to score. Work it back on top, blue line. Down the near wall now, Enzer has it. Enzer curling, looking back on top for Theo. Theo with a high slot. Looks to take a shot. He does. Glove down. Shot. Score! The question is, I think, was it redirected in with a high stick or not by the T-Birds' Alexander True. 
They may look at this one. We'll wait and see. Power play goal if it stands. Turns the other way. Lippy on side left wing with Niles. From the half wall. Throw it on net. Knocked in front. Shot score! Is it Corey Miet with his first T-Bird goal in his first game? Let's wait and see the call. The T-Birds are up 3-0. And Roberts Lipsburgs is going to get an assist. And I do believe Corey Miet is on the scoreboard for Seattle. We got his stick knocked out of his hands. Goes to the bench now. Is coming on as Vulcan. T-Birds get it to Vulcan. One-time shot. Scores! A one-timer from the top of the circle. And he beats Sarthau five-hole. What a feed from the far circle to the near circle by the team. Lips. Smith on the near wall. Peterson can't get it out. Holoko had it go past his stick. Held in by Weatherson. Snaps a shot on goal and a save again. And held outside the crease of the goal and back by Gutierrez. Comes on side left wing. Runs into Wardley. Worked it off the wall. Nickel states in the net. Shot blocked. Save is made. Smothered in the crease by Cozen. Maybe the initial save. It looked like it dropped off to his left. Get it to Grop. Grop battling Carlo at the far boards at the blue line. Can't get it out. Held in by Tri-City. Blasted on goal. The shot kicked wide. Miet will chip it out. Cross size there to Carlo. Onside right wing. Rips a shot. Pad save kicked out by the T-Birds goaltender, Cozen. So, uh, first game uh, with the T-Birds. Uh, what did you, how much fun was that out there, right? Yeah, it was It was definitely a lot of fun. You know, we come out of the gates really strong. You know, got a lot of shots on that. We just sort of took it to him. Maybe let off a little bit as the game went on, but, you know, we, I felt like we dominated them for the most part. How much practice time did you were able to get before I got with you guys? Um, well, actually, my my flights were all good. I got in on time, but my bags got lost in Vancouver, and then they missed the next flight, so that's, I was supposed to play on Friday, but I couldn't make it, and then yesterday was my first practice, and then today is obviously the game. Do you know any of the guys on the roster beforehand? Uh, I played with Otten Great in Saskatoon for a little bit this year, and then the first couple of games, so, this year as well, and then that. Uh, you feel like you coming in here, you, you have a, a sort of void to fill on this team as a as a 19 year old veteran forward. Yeah, you know, 19 uh, year old bring in some experience and some leadership, hopefully, and you know, just hopefully grab some more wins as we go on. Yeah. Yeah, talk about your goal. What happened on that play? Um, Lippy was going down the wing, and I was just trying to get to the net as, as quick as I could, you know, for a rebound or whatnot, and. He threw it in front, and as I was stopping, he went off my foot, man. So I'll, I'll take what I can get. No kicking motion, though. <laughs> uh, tough to say. For uh, Thunderbirds fans that maybe haven't seen your game a whole lot, what do you think you bring? Just kind of tell them what you bring to the table. Um, I'm more of an offensive guy, you know. I've definitely been working on my defensive as I've been growing, and, you know, I'm uh, getting the hang of that, and, you know. I just want to be a, a leader first and foremost on this team and to, to get a push and be in the playoffs once again. And how tough is it to get acclimated with new teammates and new lineups? You know what? This has probably been the easiest it's been for myself coming into a new team. Like, all the guys have been so good to me already. And, you know, I got lots of ice time today, so I can't complain about that. And, you know, you put me out in key moments, and, you know, I respect that. That always helps, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tied up there with Nejlip, poked free by Seattle. Blue line held it by Carlo, across the top. The shot from there on Nick, gloved up and held again by Cozen. Play by the big defenseman Hoff for Seattle. Wardley can't get it out. Sandu leaves it near circle. The shot to that block near post by Cozen. On side, left wing. Trying to go one on Peterson, throw it toward the net. Knocked away by Seattle. Loose puck, left circle. The shot from there on net, knocked down by the T-Birds. Cozen, Wotherspoon, Nejlip. Across the top of the zone, Morrison fires a shot on net, save, rebound, scramble, and Cozen poked it away. He's still down, though. Off the face off, the puck scooped on by Nichols. Fires a shot high, and he scores inside the near post. Lucas Nichols, who scored a late goal with a minute 45 to go. Behind the net, American centering attempt blocked in front. Scramble for the loose puck. Nejlin fires his shot, and he scores from the near circle with 138. It's a nice bounce back one off the fire right? Yeah. How big was that? It was good. I mean, uh, kind of looked scary though with uh, giving up those last two. But uh, I mean, we we knew we knew we had to be solid coming in, and I thought we played a real solid game. And uh, you, obviously, your first two games back has been pretty been pretty good production wise. Uh, do you feel like you carried some momentum after what happened in, uh, on last Monday? Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, uh, just the confidence is there for me right now, and I'm, I feel like I'm playing good hockey. And you got the C on your chest. What does that mean to you? 
Uh, it means a lot. I mean, uh, I take pride in it. Uh, I know I'm one of the leaders on the team. I know uh, we got a whole bunch of a whole, a whole decor, pretty much. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, nothing's really changing in the room, but uh, it's nice. And on that note, this team looks a little bit different from, from the last time you skated, or at least before before break. What's it like, you know, missing Pickman, who you've been with for years? Yeah, I mean, it was it was tough to kind of come into the room and you know not hear his, his voice or his jokes uh, to start. But I mean, it's a tough guy. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's just. It's, it's tough to miss that, and I guess we just have to kind of make up for his, his leadership a little bit. And yeah, your power play has been pretty good here really, since you've been back. Uh, what, what do you see working so well there? Uh, we're just moving the puck. I mean, we're getting lots of shots through, and uh, we're just getting lucky bounces. I know uh, Millsy uh, got a real lucky bounce. Not sure if he's off his skate or whatnot, but uh, things are things are going in for us right now. How about at the tournament? Um, you know, talk about that experience for you, and uh, did did it go as kind of you hope for you personally? Yeah, I mean, I thought I thought I played well. Uh, Going into it, I knew I, I was going to have, have a bigger role on the team. I um, felt like I really embraced that, and I thought I played played some of the best hockey I've played. Yeah, it seemed like they, they wanted you to kind of stay back a little bit, let Nurse go, go uh, free wheel. How's it, it nice to get back here and be able to free wheel yourself a little bit? Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> to really jump right back into it and be gone, uh, it's, it's definitely fun. Was it hard for you to adjust like that? Uh, no, I mean, it's kind of the role I was given, and uh, I mean, I took a lot of pride in it. And I mean, when you're playing for your country, I guess, Nothing really matters at that point. You're just playing, uh, playing as good as you can. What's it like playing with such top line talent? I mean, how does that improve your game? Do you feel like it does? Yeah, for sure. I mean, like we had four four deep scoring lines there, um, and I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's tough when you're when you're getting the pucks to the forwards. I mean, we're we're playing so much in in the other team's end, and I mean, it's really good. It's really fun and good to have. And moment wise, where does that rank? For you, career-wise, you know, winning a gold medal with your country is that that's that's got to be number one. I mean, uh, there's only a few chances you get to represent your country, especially the World Juniors. I know everybody in everybody in Canada watches it every single year, every Boxing Day, and uh, it was real, real nice to be there, and especially when it is fun. And it seems like the potential for a letdown could be there, going from that and how crazy that atmosphere was to back to the WHL. Was there any of that for you, or were you ready to go? When you got no, back? I'm, I was ready to go. I know, I know the fans were loud tonight. Uh, good, good Sunday, Sunday night game, but uh, no, it's good to be back for sure. How's that experience maybe prepare you for a stretch drive here uh, with the T-Birds, you know, in the playoffs? Uh, quite a lot. I know uh, we have a lot of expectations uh, coming out of this year. I know we got uh, Millsy at the kind of at the deadline there, uh, mm -hmm. but we're real confident going into the stretch, and I think we have a real good team here.